Hi, I'm David John with General Produce Company here in Sacramento, California. We're hitting that time of the year that we're starting to come up with our mixed melons, the musk melons. The tough thing about these is they're not like the cantaloupes. They're a little harder to tell. There's no little uh, stem that is popped off naturally. They're all clipped off the vines. So we have to use a few other tricks to really understand how to tell the ripeness to it. You want to look for a little bit of tackiness to the skin itself. When it matures, it kind of comes up with this resin and gives it a little bit of tackiness. Good weight for the size of the melon. Sugar's heavy, so the melon will get nice and heavy for its size when it's sweet and it's mature. And then the next thing is just the general condition. You could have a little bit of a soft end at the blossom end here, but a lot of times if it sits out just on the shelf for a couple days, that end will also soften up. But most growers are very, very good about having their fruit ripe when it comes in, especially our local growers that we're into now. We're in the Fresno area. We'll be moving right up into our own backyard right here in Sacramento within a matter of weeks. So this is a real treat that's out there. Now there's a lot of different varieties out there. So you have the Cranshaw, which is probably one of the more popular ones. And it's really a cross between a cassava and a Persian melon. But the skin, when you cut it, is clear in it's nice seed pod inside. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. And it's very, very large normally. So you'll see them like this size and bigger. There's not a lot of small fruit in this, but with the flavor of it, it'll disappear fast. So it'll go faster in your watermelons. Then the other thing you'll have is a lot of the canaries. Now canary, look for the bright yellowness to it. If it's got a lot of green stripes to it, has tendency to be picked a little too early. It will always have this real bright color, smaller melon, Great melon for breakfast. It's got a nice flavor to it. It comes up with a good aroma. It'll wake you up in the morning, make you feel good all day. So it's one that I really consider as a nice breakfast melon. Now, one of them that's gaining a lot of popularity out there is the Gala. And what it is, is a real sweet, sweet melon on the inside of this. It's juicy, it's flavorful, great dessert melon. Nice one to slice up for the kids and let them go outside because the juice will get all over the place. When you're picking these out, one of the things to watch for, because it's so sweet, gets this little glassiness to it almost, is what we call it. It's this like blank scars. And I have a tendency to have some problems on the inside, and this is where the fruit gets over mature and too much sugar is building up and it starts to break down on it. Now these melons are best left out on the counter until you cut them. Now when you cut them, you wanna make sure to wash everything off so the skin's nice and clean before you put your knife through it and then put them into the refrigerator after you cut them. They should last the better part of a week on the counter, two, three days after you cut it in the refrigerator with no problem. But enjoy the different flavors while you have them in the summer. That's the produce bee.